Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your glute and leg drop set workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. The more dumbbells you have, the merrier. Now, for reference, I have 20s, 10s, and 5s. Now, for most of the workout, I will only be using 20s, and then when I drop it, I'm going to drop it to 10s for reference, but you and I are different, so grab a weight selection that is challenging but doable for you. All right, you're going to need a mat, and we'll also need a mini band. Now, today I have a latex mini band, but a fabric band will be just fine as well. Just know that those fabric bands are typically more challenging because they're just heavier resistance. Latex will do just fine, though. You will also need to be near a wall. And if you don't have a wall handy, that's okay. Uh, when I get to that wall, fair warning, once we get the band on, we have wall sits at some point during this workout. Uh, just, just hover, just do an air squat. That is fine. But if you have a wall, definitely be near. Today's format, we got drop sets. So we're gonna do an exercise for one minute and uh, with a heavy challenging weight. After that minute is up, we only have five seconds to trade it out for a lighter set of weight. So I'll be going mainly from 20s to 10s besides the warm up for that drop. So once we have that lighter weight, we're gonna continue on for another minute. After that drop, we will have 15 seconds to recover and then we'll hit a new exercise. Now there will be a slight difference from the top set to the drop, either with tempo, range of motion, or we may be going from bilateral to unilateral. So just be on the lookout. I'll have the upcoming exercise up in this corner. And once you hear that ding, we're moving on. I can never stress this enough, but as far as weight selection, I will of course tell you what I use, but you and I are different. So I want you to find something that is challenging for you, but also a weight where you can keep your good technical form. If you're grabbing heavy weights and your form slips, and my back, my hip, ah, we don't want that. We wanna feel good after this. We wanna get stronger. We want to feel it where we're intending to feel it. So up here, I'll have a focus, and that's where we're gonna feel it, all right? So we wanna feel it in the glutes. We wanna feel it in the hamstrings. We're gonna hit quads. We're gonna hit ab. We're gonna hit adductions. We'll hit a little calves, and your core is going to stabilize. But if at any point you're like my back, my hip, I want you to drop the weight. See if that helps a little bit. Remember, quality over quantity always. Mind muscle connection, form. That's gonna lead to increased strength that we want. We're gonna start with a quick warm up where I'll be doing tens to fives. It's donkey kicks. I'll be coming up to my forearms. You can come to your hands, it is up to you. Then we'll get into some nice working sets, and then we'll have some band work at the very end. So go ahead, grab all your stuff. Highly recommend something for hydration. Y'all, and let's get going. All right, we're gonna begin with donkey kicks. Make sure you're holding that dumbbell behind the knee. Now, if that is uncomfortable on your knee, you can use a towel or something to help pat it, all right? We never wanna feel pain. We wanna make it as comfortable as possible, all right? So you can always do that. So we're gonna come to the forearms. Dumbbell's gonna go right here behind the knee. Support yourself with the right forearm. Left hand goes out to the side and then we bring it up. Make sure that right hip is squared to the mat below. Core stays tight. So we're gonna come all the way up. One count, pause, two down. Pause, two down. I'm gonna be doing that with tens. Then I'm gonna drop to fives. I want you to stay conservative with these first two supersets because it is our warm up, and we just wanna get the blood flow into the glutes. So in tendon muscle, Glute, make it count, all right? We begin your workout. Get that weight behind. We go in three, two, and one. Let's go. I've been feeling right aside in the corner of my class. Boy, what's your style? What you drinking? What's your vibe? I've been feeling right aside. Oh, yeah. Don't be mean. You're here all alone and you know it. Hang on, because we're going to turn.
seconds and we take it to the drop and go ahead and change that weight out for something lighter. Now we're going back to the same exercise but at a pulse at the top. So bring it up, one pulse, bring it down. Last three, two, and one. All right, glutes on fire, that's promising. We're doing the exact same thing on the other side. So get into position, left foot's going up, ground through the left forearm, right hands go out to the side, square off that hip, core stays engaged. One count pause at the top, and let's go. Last three, two, and one. Switch it out to something lighter. Now we're gonna add the pulse. Let's get it. Last three, two, and one. Nice. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my 20s. I'm gonna be dropping from 20s to 10s. We have squat to a calf raise, slow and controlled tempo. I'm gonna be bringing my dumbbells uh, above my shoulders, but you can bring them down below as well. So take it down, three, two, one count pause. Bring it up, calf raise, release it down. Three, two, one count pause. Up, calf raise, bring it down. Three, two, and one. Drop it to something lighter. I'm grabbing tense. Continue with a normal tempo. I can't 
Last three, two, and one. Next up, we have B stance RDLs followed by single leg RDLs on the right. So I'll be using 20s for the B stance, single leg, I'll drop it to 10s. This is a hip hinge movement. movement. Let's go. 80% of the weight is in the right heel, 20 in the left toes. Use that right glute to drive you back up. Last three, two, and one. Drop it to something lighter. Now we're going single leg. Keep the core tight, let's go. That back leg doesn't have to go all far. You can just barely hover it off the ground if needed. Or you can stick with that B stance that we just did. And one. All right, now we have sumo squats. So we're gonna hit a little inner thigh work, Y stance, external rotation of the hips. I'm grabbing two 20s and we're going with a slow control tempo. Three, one, zero, one. Take it down. Three, two, one. One count pause, one count drive it up. Last three, two, and one. All right, I'm dropping it to tens. Now we're gonna hold the bottom range of motion, add the calf raise. So hold, and now we're just repping it out. We're gonna try to hang on to these weights for as long as possible, but if needed, you can go to body weight only.
Last three, two and one, wow. Okay, now we go to RDLs on the other side. B stance, left, single leg left, slow and controlled tempo. Make sure your core stays tight to help stabilize those hips. 80 in the left, 20 in the right. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Let's make the drop. Keep the core tight. Remember that back leg's just along for the ride. And one. Now we have glute focused reverse lunges. All right, then we'll drop it to tens. Now for these reverse lunges, three, one, zero, one tempo. I'm grabbing 20s. We have more hip flexion. So we're not upright. Right foot grounds, left foot moves, hinge forward. More hip flexion, more glutes. Last three, two, and one. All right, grab a hold of those lighter weights. Now we hold bottom range of motion. Let's pulse it out. You must be crazy. Turning me down like that is pretty insane. You need to break free. Live fast and die young and let yourself go. Let yourself go. Hey, give me some, give me some, give me some, give me some, give me some energy. Wanna come, wanna come, wanna come. And one. Wow. Okay. Other side, shall we? Okay.
Three, two, and let's get it. Come on, let yourself be free. Be the best that you can be. Come on, your body. Come on, your body. Only settle for the best. Live your life with no regrets. Come on, your body. Come on, your body. Come on, let yourself be free. Be the best that you can be. Come on, your body. Come on, your body. Only settle for the best. Last three, two, and one. Drop the weight, and now we hold bottom range of motion. Pulse it out. And one. All right, come to the ground. One dumbbell. We have B stance bridges on the right. Then we go to single leg on the right. We'll drop the weight. But first, 20s. Tempo, bring it up. Two count hold. Three, two, one. One, make that drop if needed, body weight only. Keep that off leg bent. I'm just too lost, I need to cut loose. I keep it in my head, I keep it locked away. My friends think that this is over. Guess it's the price I pay. Played with the enemy. Now I got you on my shoulder. Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again. Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again. Let me love again. Let go and let me let me love, let me let me let go and let me let me love, let me love again. Let go and let me let me love, let me let me let go and let me. Wanna let go, I wanna lose you Fall out of love as you're supposed to Three, two, and one. Nice, all right, we're coming to the other side. And then after this, we take it up. We have lateral lunges and then we get into our band work, y'all. We are almost there. Let's keep going. B stance on the left, two count pause at the top. Let's go. Use that left glute to drive you up. Let me love again. Let me love again. Let go and let me, let me love. Let me, let 
Let's make that drop in three, two, and one. Drop it to something lighter. Now we go single leg. Keep that right knee bent. Let me love again. Whenever I'm with you, I am all right. There's something about the way you make me feel inside. I'm counting down the days till we fly away. Heading to the sun, only you and me are. And one nice standing on up we have lateral lunges on the right and then we drop it to body weight only so I'm gonna try try being the keyword with 20s and then on the drop do body weight let's go control it at the bottom bring it up core stays tight to help stabilize the hips big stretch bring it up Driving narrow streets in a rusty car Leading to the sea, think we're getting close We should take a pick, baby, strike a pose I, I remember every day that I spent right here with you Yeah, you are the one who makes me feel Feel as good as I do Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 right now just let go, lose control, play songs on the radio to Three, two, and one, drop it. Now body weight only, now we're doing a lateral lunge to knee in. Bring it to the side, power through, knee comes in. side y'all and then I'm gonna hit stop we'll get a little longer to place that band around the quads let's get it
three, two, and one. Set those dumbbells down. We got a body weight only. Knee in. Let's get it. And one, nice work. All right, now we need our band. I'm gonna hit pause. I want you to place this band around your quads. Grab one of your dumbbells. I'm gonna grab my 10 and find your wall. We have weighted wall sit abductions. All right, y'all grab that weight. We're going to go to the wall, start conservative, and then every 10 seconds, you won't hear a ding, but I want you to look at the clock. So every 10 seconds, scoot just about an inch. Even if it's only a centimeter, that's cool. Try to scoot lower every minute on the first minute. And then the second minute, we're gonna get rid of this weight. We are pressing into the band. First minute, short range of motion. Second minute, full range of motion. We go in three, two, and one. Three, two, and one, let's go. That's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning. These ladies know that I'm sitting, and this is just the beginning. I'm closing in the night, getting there. Ain't no point in resisting. Living life like a dream, baby, right, that's the thing. Every night, got a team. I've been tied to the scene. Out on stage, here I'm screaming. Okay, it's a dream, and I pray as a team. One day, it be me. If I want it, then I get it. Head down, don't regret it. Push myself to the if I play it, then I win it. I'm just saying, I'm just living for today, for a minute. I don't stay, I just lose it. Have no shame, I admit it. I can me to see if I succeed. To see if I last three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. Now we go full range of motion abductions. Hold it. And let's go out. Best to me now, best to me now, best to me now, best to me. Last three, two, and one. Bring it to the mat. Thank goodness. Okay, this one is without a weight. So your left leg is on top. Support yourself with that forearm. We bring it up, press into the band, bring it down. Let's get it. Three, 
two, and one. Next up, we have clamshells uh, with a quarter rep at the top. So add that pulse. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Before we do the other side, we're gonna do frog pump. So have your 20, have your 10, or your heavy weight, your lighter weight. So bring the outer blades of the feet towards the mat. External rotation of the hip. Bring that weight to the hips. We go all the way up, all the way down. And one, make the drop. Now we're gonna add a quarter rep at the top. Let's go. Some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going on. three, two, and one. All right, place that weight off to the side. We're going to do the uh, abduction with a mod plank on the other side. So support yourself with the forearm. We bring it up, bring it down with that hip lift. Use this hand for support if needed. Let's go. And one, all right, we have clamshells and we have a quarter rep at the top range of motion. Let's go.
Last three, two, and one. Final thing, all right, but it's gonna be a little try drop set, <laughs> three. All right, first up we have a bridge. Three count concentric, two count pause, three count eccentric. So really control the concentric up, feel the glutes lift. So bring it up, three, two, one, two count pause, three, two, one, three, two, one, two count pause, feel those glutes, bring it down slow and controlled. And one. All right, drop it to something lighter. We have top range of motion bridges. Let's go. So we're all the way up, quarter of the way down, all the way up. Hard pause at the top, so glutes, squeeze them, then bring it down. Now after this, we'll set the weight down and we have an ISO hold at the top and we will abduct. So this is our final exercise is, uh, it's going to be our burnout, it should be challenging. All right, final exercise. We're gonna try to hold on to this weight, hold at the top and abduct into the band. Hold at the top, now press out. We're here for one minute. Keep squeezing those glutes, y'all. Keep pumping it out, rep it out. We have 10 seconds. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold at the top, squeeze. Didn't see that coming. Hold and squeeze, just hold it. 15. One inch higher, come on, squeeze those glutes. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and release. Nice work. All right, <laughs> let's take that band off first and foremost. Flick it off. All right, and now let's get those glutes across the left foot over right. And let's just take a spinal twist before we go into that figure four. So let it come off to the side. Ooh, it'll hit that uh, left glute. Should feel pretty good. Now go ahead, bring it back. Bring the right knee in, hand goes in between the space you just created. Grab hold the back of the hamstring on the inhale, gently press against that left inner thigh. And on the exhale, pull the right knee in. Dorsiflex at the ankles. Oh, deep stretch here. 
that, that was the obvious. I don't know why. Ever since I became a mom, I'm like, oh, big stretch, deep stretch. You know, I'm just... <laughs> I'm delirious. How are you doing? How's your day going? Hey, happy day. All right, let's hit the other side. This is one of my favorite stretches. Oh my goodness. You can use that knee, so that's my left knee right here, to scoot it in and then press this top knee, which is my right, out. Big stretch right here. Wow. Feels amazing. If you're ever just like chilling, uh, you know, at the house, watching TV, this is a great stretch. You know, just get into it. Put me on the floor. Let's bring it up to center. Take it to that figure four stretch. And when you're ready, release. Bring both knees in towards the chest. Soles of the feet go to the sky. Grab a hold of the outer blades of the feet. And then drive the knees towards the armpits. Just really open up the groin area, inner thigh. And then if you want, take a little sway side to side. Bring all swaying and movement to a stop. And then see if you can get those knees a little closer. This also creates a lot of space in that low back. Release the feet, grab hold of the backs of the hamstrings, and give yourself three spinal rolls up. Make sure you have a mat. On the next roll, come all the way up, cross at the ankles, and then bring it to a quadrant position. Three rounds of cat cow here at your own pace. Bring it to a neutral spine, walk the hands in. Right foot goes out, keep a neutral low back. Big deep inhale as you exhale, start to hinge. You'll feel a big stretch along that left hip flexor and left quad. If you want a deeper stretch, bring the left arm up and over. Inhale up to center. Start to straighten the right leg, dorsiflex at the right ankle, and then hinge the hips back. So we're getting a big stretch along the hamstring and glute. And just find your inner range motion here. It should feel pretty good. Whenever we do any hip flexion movement, hip flexion, hip extension, that's really gonna target your glutes and your hamstrings. So those RDLs were great for that. And then whenever we have a uh, knee flexion, it's really gonna target the quads as well as the glutes. But if you noticed on the reverse lunges, they were glute focused. So they were hitting quads, but we had more hip flexion and that's just to target the glutes more. So I was not upright on purpose and that was to hit the glutes, to bias the glutes a little bit more. Now, if you wanna hit quads that day, stand up straight. Notice the difference. Just be like, oh, here I feel more glutes. Here I feel more, or excuse me, here I hear more quads and here I hear feel more glutes. So you can really manipulate the exercise to where you want to feel it, where you want to hit, what target muscle group we going for. Let's do it. All right, other side. Neutral low back, inhale, exhale, bring it down. Bring right arm up and over. Inhale up to center and exhale, start to straighten the left leg. Get a big deep stretch along the back of the left leg. Let's 
All right, we're about to get fancy, so just stay with me and really be conservative on your range of motion here. We're gonna try to target your inner thighs. We did do some adduction work. Uh, adduction, well, we didn't do adduction work, but we targeted the adductors, excuse me, your inner thighs with uh, those sumo squats and lateral lunges. So go ahead, quarter turn to me, curl that toe under, bring it up, and then just give me some cross X squats. Start to go side to side and then hold one side, doesn't matter which one, we'll hit the other side. Take this knee, drive it towards the back, and just aim for a big stretch here and here. Ease into this. Inhale up, exhale other side. Inhale up to center, heel toe the feet in a little bit, but keep a wide stance, bring your hands up, and exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Yes is a nose with the head. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, give yourself a ragdoll pose, side to side. Bring the feet in more if you want. Bring all swing to a stop. Heel toe the feet in once or twice. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, see if you can let that head hang a little deeper. Soft knees, root to rise, reverse swan, dive it up. Big, deep inhale. And as we exhale, bring the arms to a T. All right, let's do that again. Inhale up and exhale, open. Y'all, great job today. You rock. Let me know how you liked this format in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, your support and love means everything to me. So let me know uh, if you like this format. I'm gonna create an upper body version here shortly. And y'all follow me on IG at Laurie Midkiff. Have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.